Hi, darling. Yeah, I know, it's technically against tradition for us to see each other on the day of the wedding, but I just couldn't help it. I just missed you so much. You miss me too. Oh, darling, you're so sweet. Right, I guess I'll see you soon. I can't wait. I love you so much. I know today's so exciting, but frankly, I just want it to be over with so my darling and I can get on with our lives and live happily ever after. All these people are staring at me, but what makes me the most mad is all these people are staring at her. God, it makes my blood boil. They aren't even worthy enough to look at her. <laughs> Hi, darling. Right, can we speed this up? You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, uh... <laughs> I take the listener to be my lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do us part I swear to God, if anyone objects to our love, I will make them suffer. We're finally married, darling. Oh, my goodness. Thank God that's over, darling. Now we can spend some quality time to ourselves. I do feel kind of bad though, since I know you had a good time and I hope I didn't sour the mood at all because I just wanted it to be over so we could spend time together. You're just too sweet, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did I think of your friends and family? <laughs> Um, darling, you probably don't want to know. But all I'll say for sure is that they, they really were better than I expected. I mean, it seems weird since you literally went missing for such a long time and eventually you got in contact with some of them again and you had moved in with a boy and they had no suspicions. You just told them you were living off the grid for a bit. That's honestly kind of funny. I remember the night you proposed to me, darling. You came home so late. I was so angry. I was ready to punish you. I didn't know what you'd done. And then you got down on one knee and showed me this lovely ring. I was so happy after you did that. It was literally a dream come true. Hopefully now we can just enjoy our honeymoon and enjoy the rest of our lives together. It's you and me versus the world, you know? I really do need to thank you for being so kind and for being so willing to be with me. I mean, I can't help but feel like I forced this in a way. I kidnapped you. I threatened you. I did so many things to you that looking back probably weren't the right things to do. I guess the good thing that came out of all of this is that we're married and Odds are it wouldn't have happened had I not kidnapped you. It's just... 
I feel like I'd rather have you truly want to be with me. I'm not saying you don't, but part of me feels like it was wrong how we got to this point. It's weird because while I had you tied up to the chair in my basement, I never questioned if what I was doing was wrong. But ever since you proposed to me, I've had these thoughts. I basically trained you to be mine. I pretty much broke you. And even though I finally have everything I've ever wanted, it just doesn't feel right. Of course I love you, darling. I definitely still want to be married to you. I just feel weird that part of you resents me for pretty much forcing you into this. You don't resent me at all. You really love me. Oh, baby. Come here and kiss me, darling. I love you so, so much. I'm going to be the best husband you could ever hope for. I know you'll be the best wife I could ever hope for too. I just, I can't wait to get home and cuddle. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I can finally get out of this suit and these shoes. Oh, God. Yeah. You know you're stuck with me until death do us part. I'm taking these marriage vows extremely seriously. I mean, you kind of already were, but now it's just official that you're stuck with me forever. Well, I'm glad you agree. Hey, listen, I just want to say that I will always love you, darling. You are the most important person in my life. You're the most absolute important thing out there. You're literally an angel. Serious, darling. Actually, you know what? You're greater than an angel. Angels have nothing on you, darling. I'm just glad that I know you're mine and I'm yours. It's... Nice to not have to, well, deal with some loose ends. It's nice to not have to hide your existence anymore. I mean, some already knew you were with me, but now that we're married, it makes sense that you're with me all the time. I'm happy that you're so loyal to me, darling. If you weren't, well... I shudder thinking about what I might do. I've been trying to get over my possessiveness, darling, but it's not easy. I feel like I'm making progress. The wedding was actually a bit fun, mostly, because I was with you, but I was still jealous of your friends and family when they talked to you. <clears throat> I feel bad about feeling jealous because I know we've talked about this and it shouldn't be that way. You're right, I shouldn't beat myself up over this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess it's better than me lunging at them and attacking them, or screaming at them for even looking at you like I used to do. Hey darling, I'm so happy with how patient you've been with me. I know I'm not the easiest to deal with. I love you. Until death do us part, darling.